Ah, fresh shed. A super sun glow sharp albino. So it's a super hypo sharp albino head RDR, uh, black bed anery. What's up, Snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily. And today we're going to give you a little weekend edition here. We're going to be looking at a really cool litter that I produced a year and a half ago. I bred an Aztec Motley Sun Glow female. She was bred by a Super Hypo Blizzard, which is a Super Hypo, Sharp Albino, Black Eyed Annery. The Black Eyed Annery gene removes reds and yellows, for people who don't know that. The Albino removes blacks, and then the Super Hypo removes all patterns. So the, the father was a completely white snake with red eyes. Um, you'll see some of the, you'll see the result of that, uh, of what that looks like a little later. And the mother was gorgeous. So I'm going to show you some of the babies we produced that are all head RDR, 100%, that are available. And then I'm going to show you what you can actually make with that breeding uh, moving forward. So stay tuned. Let's take a look. Ah, fresh shed. A super sun glow sh sharp albino. So it's uh, super hypo, sharp albino, head RDR, uh, black eyed anery. Uh, these, these guys are going up on a year and a half now. So they got some nice size on them. And I gotta figure out, there's a couple for sale. I'm not sure which ones I'm actually letting go of. This is a male. I really like this one. I'll probably wanna keep this one. I think he's, he's on my whole back list, but that doesn't mean I won't let him go. <laughs> <laughs> actually, no I, think, no, I think he is actually on the first sale list, this guy. Real, if you guys love really clean looking albinos that are het for RDR, which is really, when you think about it, it's het for blizzard boa. So, great little male. All right, here's another male from that same litter. This is a uh, hypo motley sharp albino or, or motley sun glow. It's also head RDR, another male. So. This one has the Motley gene added, whereas the other one is just two copies of Hypo. This is one copy of Hypo and one copy of the Motley gene. Now, you, if any of you understand the, the uh, relationship between Motley and Hypo, they're allelic to each other. So that means that you can never have a super Hypo Motley because they, all three of those genes sit, or both of those genes sit on the same uh, allele or same location of the uh, gene. Uh, and because of that, you can only have two of those at one time. So if you have two copies of Hypo, then you have a Super Hypo. If you have a cop one Hypo and one Motley, you have a Hypo Motley. Uh, or if you have two Motleys, you'd have a Super Motley, which we know is a, a pretty much a non-viable snake. They all do die. They're totally black snakes. So Hypo Motleys are pretty cool, and all the babies from this are either going to be Motley or Hypo, not both, because they can only throw one of those particular genes to the um, offspring, so very cool. Here's another Hypo Motley Sharp Sun Glow, head RDR. This is a female, and she's a little, a little bigger than the males, and she's also really, really pretty. She's available, I, if you were to get this female, you'd have to probably buy the male that's super Hypo um, Sharp albino head RDR because you don't want to breed motley to motley because super motleys are not something that you want to produce because they don't really live too long. So a great combo would be that super hypo or super sun glow head RDR to this hypo motley head RDR theme. And if you want to go one step even further, same litter, this is a hypo motley Aztec. At least I think it's Aztec. Head RDR. Really kind of cool. Striped motley tail. With a little Aztec being disrupted by the hypo gene and the motley gene. Super cool. This is a male too. So a lot of options on the males. Obviously, if you're going to breed to a female that's motley, you really can't use the male that's motley. Ah, here's a really, really nice male. I really like this male. This male, this side, this rack, actually, I'm feeding these guys a little bit more. Um, these are potential holdbacks. But this is a motley 
Sun Glow or Motley Hypo Sharp Albino Head RDR. It's another male, spectacular looking, just some really, really nice highlighting. It's very clean looking. It almost looks like Super Hypo, but we know it can't be because it's got the Motley gene in it, but it's very, very clean. Look at that really cool head spear on there. Just really, really nice. Like I said, get some nice, nice size on it. This is a, uh, about a year and a half old animal. So really progressing nicely. And here's probably one of the best ones of the whole litter. This is an Aztec Motley Sharp Albino Hypo. So it's a sun, Sharp Sun Glow Motley Aztec Head RDR, a female. This, I have marked as a holdback. Probably wind up keeping this girl, but she is really, really nice. She looks just like her mama, except she's got the, she's had RDR. The mama was a, an Aztec Motley Sun Glow that I had bred my um, blizzard to and produced this girl. And she's as beautiful as the mother. I'll show you the mother a little bit. She just happens to also have the, um, the sheep head RDR. So she looks a little different, but beautiful. Motley Aztec work really nice together throw some hypo in for cleaning up purposes and you throw an albino in there and you got a great looking snake. And any ass and any chance I have to slip this little beauty in there, I do. This is my female super hyper blizzard. So it's super hypo, sharp albino, which makes it a super sun glow. Plus it's got the visual black eyed anery gene in it. So it's kind of, it, we call it a blizzard or a super hypo blizzard and it's completely blank slate, so to speak. No pattern left. It's got no color left, essentially. <laughs> We've stripped away all the melanin with the albino gene. We've stripped away the yellows and reds with the black eyed anery gene. And then the hypo gene has erased the pattern. And so this is ultimately what you can produce with those other babies that I showed you. Except this one is from this year, this little girl. And she ain't, she's not going anywhere. I was just going to say she ain't going anywhere. That's how vehement I am about it. But I'm trying to, in, in basically honor of my father, who was an English teacher who corrected my grammar all my life, I avoided the ain't. I said she isn't going anywhere. That was my little tribute to my dad. Thanks, Sal, for correcting me and my English for 50-something years. And... These are just gorgeous. I mean, there's nothing that I can do to the snake to make this one better because there's nothing left of it. There's no pattern and there's no color. It's pure white, red eyes, no pattern, and they stay like this till the day they die. They get big and they look just as good. And as a matter of fact, I think they get better because they're a little pinkish looking now. They get actually really, really snow white, or as they call it, alpine white. You guys have uh, ever have got a BMW, that's what they call their white, Alpine white. It's a really, really snowy looking white. And that's what you get from that litter. So, little update, if anyone is interested in getting involved in the project, those heads are gonna be a lot cheaper than buying something like this from me. Uh, plus they've already got a good year and a half of age on them and they're well started. They're already eating, some of them are eating medium rats, some are, can, are eating small rats, so. If anyone wants to get involved in the project, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you put together two really nice animals. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. A little genetics lesson plus a little incentive to possibly get into the Blizzard project. If you guys want to produce pure white snakes with red eyes, no pattern, this is the way to do it. I have all the constituents to do it right here. So... Hit me up if you uh, want some suggestions, if you want to get involved in the project. Uh, I have a bunch of babies, and once again, they're not babies anymore. They're sub-adults, and they're eating really well, and they, uh, the males will probably breed next year, uh, next season, and the females maybe next season, or this is definitely the season after that. So everyone's well started, and, that, and that's the key. They're real healthy, and uh, I love this project, and uh, I'm so happy that I produced what I did produce over the uh, this past year with those visual blizzards that just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I, I cannot be happier i have to thank my friend uh mike weitzman at uh basically boas for getting me into that project he's the one who kind of twisted my arm a little bit he sold me that beautiful super super hypo blizzard male uh that produced these 
and produced actually the visuals too. So it's uh, it's a good good project. I, I think it has a lot of potential, especially if you want to get the yellows out of your boas. That black eyed anery jean is just super powerful, and everyone should have it in their collection really. And if you don't. You don't have to get these, but you should definitely look into getting it into your collection if you want to see some really clean looking snakes. All right, guys, uh, hope you have a great weekend planned and you're having fun. Uh, if you like these videos, show me the love. Hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, hit that like button. I'll see you back Monday morning.